Welcome to Blowout 101 with Liv. I have a lot to teach you. So let's get started. Let's talk about roller sizes. I feel like the importance of roller sizes gets overlooked so much. The most common roller size I see is this big daddy right here. This guy is huge and he really truly is not going to give you the look I feel like most of you guys are going for. The bigger your roller size, the more volume you will get, but the straighter your curl or blowout will be. Now this size right here is the size I tend to always use. It's around one and a half inch. I just feel like it gives me a very curly bouncy blowout take these out and let me show you what I mean you can literally tell how it slowly gets more curly the smaller the roller you use I also like to keep in mind that blowouts fall pretty quickly so when I do a tighter roller it'll stay a little bit longer if you're having trouble with your blowouts being really loose this might be the problem or if you're going to buy rollers soon decide which kind of blowout you are wanting anyways follow me for more tips